Hey guys, welcome back to part 9 of the notifications tutorial. So as I explained in part 1, after we created a notification channel, we can't change its settings anymore. We can still change the name and the description of the channel, but we can't change for example its importance level, how much sound it's allowed to make and so on. This can only be changed by the user, but not from within code. But sometimes you might have the situation that your app needs a certain setting in order to work as intended. For example, let's say the user signed up to receive notifications for a certain topic, but he disabled the corresponding notification channel in the settings. And if this is the case, we can't enable this channel ourselves, but we can tell the user, for example, in an alert dialog, hey, you disabled this notification channel and without it, the app won't work properly, please go into the settings and change it. And not only that, we can also automatically open the settings screen and directly send the user to it so he doesn't have to search for it himself. And in this video, we will learn how to do this on the different API levels. So let's go. We do all of this stuff in our main activity. But again, in a real app, you probably have some sort of notification helper class and wouldn't put all of this stuff into the main activity. This is just for presentational purposes. Okay, and let's say before we send our notification on channel 1, in our send on channel 1 button method, we want to check if notifications are disabled. And if that's the case, we want to send the user to the settings screen. So we can check if exclamation mark, we take our notification manager, which is the combat version, dot are notifications enabled. And this will obviously return false if notifications are disabled. And now we could display an alert dialog which tells the user exactly why we need notifications enabled. But in this video we will skip it to keep it more concise. And instead we will just open the settings screen directly. Because this is what this video is about. Let's do this in a separate method. Open notification settings. And below it we call return to leave this method right here. And don't execute send channel 1 notification. Okay, and let's put this method below our send on channel 2 method, all the way at the bottom. Private void open notification settings. On Oreo onwards, we can send the user to the notification settings directly, but this doesn't work on lower API levels. There we have to send him to the general settings. We do it the following way. We check if build.version.sdk int, the same as we did before, is greater or equal to build.versioncodes.o for Oreo or API level 26. We create an intent, we call it intent equals new intent and for the action string we pass settings with capital S dot action app notification settings, this one. And this constant is only available on API level 26 and higher. Then we call intent dot put extra for the key we pass again settings dot extra app package and this already implies what we have to pass we have to pass the package name which we get with get package name this way the system knows that it's supposed to open the settings for this app then we call start activity the same way as we open our own activities and pass the intent and that's it and in the else block we also have to take care of API levels lower than 26. But this is pretty similar. Again, we create an intent. We can call it intent again, new intent. This way we pass settings dot action application detailed settings. And now we also have to specify the package name, but a bit differently. Intent dot set data. We pass URI dot pass. Then we pass a string, which simply says package colon. And outside of the string we append, get package name again, semicolon. Again, we call start activity, pass the intent, and that's it. Okay, and this way we can already check if the notifications overall are enabled. So let's test it. Okay, so I'm gonna send a notification. Now I long click, all categories. And now I'm gonna disable notifications as a whole with this setting here. Now let's go back into our app. And now when we click send on channel 1, it should detect that notifications are disabled and send us back to the screen where we just have been before. And this works. Let's test it again. 
And as said, usually you would show an alert dialog or something and tell the user why he has to enable notifications. And when we put it back on, our notification will work again. Let's also test it on a lower API level. We do the same again. We disable notifications. Block. But this time the intent won't bring us directly to this screen. Instead we will see this setting screen. And here we can put notifications back on. And there it is. Okay, so this is if the user disables notifications as a whole, which is the only option on API levels lower than 26. But as we know, on 26 onwards, the user doesn't have to disable all notifications. He can also just disable a single channel. This means we also have to check for the settings of the particular channel. So let's go back into Android Studio and add this as well. We add another method below private boolean and we call it is channel blocked and we will pass the channel idea in form of a string so the method knows which channel it has to check for okay and then we need our notification manager but not the combat version the other version let's call it manager this is the same one we used in our app class to create notification channels because the notification manager combat doesn't have these methods so we have to use two different ones equals get system service we have done this before notification manager dot class and we annotate this method directly above private boolean we write add requires api and pass 26 in parentheses because most of the code we use in this method is only available on oreo and higher so we would have to check again if build version is bigger than o and so on but with this annotation we can move this check to the outside so we don't have to check for the API level in this method, but whenever we call this method. This is what this annotation is for. And from this notification manager and the channel idea, we can retrieve the notification channel object. So we write notification channel, we call a channel equals, we take the manager dot get notification channel and we pass the channel idea that we pass to this method. Again, theoretically, the notification manager could be null, Normally this shouldn't happen, but in a real app you should probably check if manager is not equal to null. We will leave it out here for clarity. And then we have to return a boolean. We want to return true if the channel is blocked and false if not. So we write return channel. And now we can call different methods on this channel object. A lot of them don't play a role here because we can't change these settings anymore as I explained earlier. But we can get the current settings. For example, we can get the importance level with dot get importance or the light color, lock screen visibility, vibration pattern and so on. You just retrieve this channel from the notification manager and its idea and then you can check for the settings. Okay, so let's say we want to check for the importance level and if this is equal to notification manager dot importance none, which is a constant for zero and this means this notification channel is disabled. If this is the case, we want to return true because then the user can't receive notifications on this channel. But I put another check before this. So we put this into a new line. If channel is not equal to null and then to ampersand signs. Because if this channel ID is invalid, the channel object could be null, which means that this method here, get importance, would throw a null pointer exception and our app would crash. And this way we just check if it's null beforehand. And if it's null, we just leave this method right away. But of course, instead for importance none, you can also check for other importance levels. Okay, and then we can use this method to check if a particular channel is blocked independently from the general notification settings. And then instead of sending the user to the notification settings like we did before, we can send him to the settings of this channel directly, which is basically just one step deeper into the settings. So let's create another method below, which we call private void open channel settings. Again, we have to pass the channel ID in form of a string. And again, we annotate it. Requires API 26. Then we create another intent. This time we pass settings dot action channel notification settings. Again, we have to call put extra to pass the package. And one more, we also have to pass the channel idea. 
with extra underscore channel idea, comma, and a channel ID string. Because the system needs a way to know what channel settings we want to open. Again, start activity, and that's it. Now we have all our methods in place. So we go all the way up again into our send on channel one method. So we checked our notifications enabled, which is important on all API levels. And below this, we check if build dot version dot SDK int, you guessed it, is greater or equal to build dot version codes dot o to ampersand signs. And I'm gonna continue in the next line, but within the parentheses, is channel blocked? And we pass our channel one idea, because this is the channel where we want to send our notification over. Curly braces. And if they are both true, we want to open our channel settings for the same channel idea. And call return. And if we would remove this first line here, build.version sdk end, we would get warnings. Because these are the two methods we annotated with requires API 26. If we would not have this annotation, this wouldn't show this warning here. But with our SDK in check, we are safe. And now if the notifications are enabled and we get down here, we check if the channel is blocked and only if both are not true, we send our notification. So let's test it again. Send on channel one. We go into the settings. This time we keep the notifications enabled and only disable channel one. So when we now try to send our notification, we should not get to this screen, but to this one here, because this is the setting for this particular channel. Let's test it. Send on channel one, and there it is. If we enable this channel, we will see our notification. And if we disable all channels, like we did before, we get to the first setting screen again. And on lower API levels than 26, our channel check will just be ignored. Okay, if this was helpful, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for upcoming parts of the notifications tutorial. Take care.